I charged $10,000 my first ever sales letter. Now that came about, um, the guy I bought the initial package from had then bought a year later the Australasian non-exclusive rights to every single Dan Kennedy product and book at the time. And it was an investment of $25,000. Now, having gone through the, have, I divorced the first dragon, I mean the first ex-wife, <laughs> and I didn't have 25,000 left. I was 130 grand in the hole, yet I still managed to keep my platinum Amex. So I called Mal up the next day and I was like, you know, I was at your event last night, I'm not sure what I want to do with when I grow up, can I see you for a couple of hours? And he said, sure, bring a check for $750. And that was the best fucking $750 I've ever spent in my life because it was from those two hours that I bought the 25K package, put it on the AMX and hoped like shit I'd have the money in 30 days when the bill came. So of course it was going to take about seven to 10 days for the master set to arrive. So how many days have I got left? I've got about 20 days left to pull in 25 grand. I'm reading the Sunday paper, and here's a frickin' advert for a business and franchising expo. So I called them up, and it was on like in two weeks. Do you have a booth? Yeah, sure, three and a half grand. You take Amex, okay. So I'm owing 28 and a half thousand. By the time that trade show came around, I'd put about 30 grand onto that platinum Amex, and I cleared the fucking bill before it was due, right? Because I followed everything Dan Kennedy said about direct mail, how to do a trade show. And that was where I picked up my first ever client. But I sold packages enough to clear the 30,000. And then he wanted to know if I'd write a sales letter for him. And I said, sure. I was also asked to look at some copy that somebody else had previously written that was so bad he refused to run it, but he still paid them. And he made a mistake. He told me how much he paid them. Right, so going on from what Caleb said about guarantees and shit like that, I was like, well, I think I can reverse engineer some of uh, Dan's sales letters and put something together that's gonna outperform the stuff that, you know, anything you've ever done before and also, you know, the other stuff. So I said, kept a straight face and I said $10,000. He paid it and for you guys that know, obviously have done old school direct mail, um, you know, if you get your timing wrong, you can do your ass. And in Australia over like sort of December, January, you, you shouldn't be mailing because it's at the major school holiday. I told him, do not mail this letter until mid January at least, or the, the third week in January. I get a call saying in mid January, your letter bombed, and I'm going, fuck, I've got to give him his 10 grand back, because I actually gave him money back guarantee on that. And I said, what do you mean my letter bombed? He said, oh, I mailed 38,000 letters. And I said, you didn't fucking listen to my instructions. Mail again, I'm not changing a word. Another set of brass balls on that one. And he agreed. And the very first time he used the letter correctly, which I got a call about three weeks later saying, can I buy you, buy you dinner? And I think the letter must have worked. He pulled in $558,000 in that letter in the first two, two seminars he did. That letter has gone on to, he sold in excess, okay, this figure was four or five years ago, so it's probably more. He sold in excess of 4,000 units at a $3,500 package. That was my first ever letter. Now, if I look at that letter now and I was to critique it, I would obviously improve it. But, you know, he's used a letter for that long, but that was my first ever copywriting client. So those of you in the room who haven't charged $10,000 yet, right, you can do it, it's got to back your ability, right? So I was risky, but it's paid off for me, but I've done the work.